So Wangalara Sanctuary is a big property, it's 170,000 hectares. It sits just on the southern boundary of Arnhem Land and it protects an amazing array of different ecosystems. So we have this really tall lush vegetation along the bigger rivers on the property. There's sandstone uplands, there's um, gutta percha black soil wetlands, uh, lots of perched wetlands, there's springs. So it's a, a really stunning property in terms of what it captures. A lot of species on the property as well. Um, but the one thing that is missing here is its small mammals and the small mammals have been declining across all of North Australia and um, it's a problem that we're trying to address here at Wangalara. I'll just take this extra wire off the fence in case we need to do some more patching or tying off. The mammals of Northern Australia are in real trouble so we think there are about half of the 40 odd species that live in the north are showing really strong uh, uh, signs of decline. And of that set, there's probably six species that are going to go extinct in the next 20 years if we don't do something to change those trajectories. We think that these declines are caused by a combination of feral herbivores. So what I mean by that is buffaloes, donkeys, horses, pigs, feral cattle. Uh, mismanaged fire and feral cats and so what the Australian Wildlife Conservancy is doing at its properties that are spread across northern Australia is trying to understand the causes of those declines and then put in place these massive remedial interventions um, and measure the results of those or the impacts of those interventions to see what happens to the native mammals. So here at Wangalara we're building a very large um, feral free area. So we've built a fence that encloses a hundred thousand hectares. We'll clear all the feral donkeys and horses and buffalo and cattle out of that area. We have um, six years of data on what the, the native animal populations are like before this intervention. We'll finish the fence in the next couple of weeks, take out the feral herbivores and then we'll keep measuring to see what happens. What we're expecting to see is that the small mammals inside that fenced area will recover and the reason we think that will happen is that we've actually done this on a slightly smaller scale at Mornington Sanctuary in the Kimberley where we fenced and removed feral herbivores from a 40,000 hectare area and we saw a recovery in the mammal populations there within two or three years. So here at Wangalara with the feral herbivore free area, this floodgate has been designed to um, float up with the water as the wet season rises. And uh, the theory is, as the water comes up, pushes the iron up, floats on top of the water. As the water recedes, the iron goes back down, or forms an effective barrier. Buffalo, they, they, they're funny, they, the dirtier the water hole and the messy they can make it, the more they like it. You can see her starting to, she's noticed us now and, and she's going to start wandering off and, and uh, probably move on. But uh, yeah, the dirtier there is, the more the buffaloes like it.